Hi and welcome to Tax TV. Uh, got Andy on today. Hi Andy. Nice Hi Paul. Uh, we'll have a discussion about Bristol City game coming up on Tuesday. Um, but just before we do that, have a bit of recap on a uh, game against... <sighs> just for now, the game. <laughs> I, I, I like, oh, it's just like, throw me, absolutely throw me. Stoke and then <laughs> Fulham games. Oh, I don't know, points lost. Uh, so yeah Andy, uh, your take on game from yesterday mate. Um, I thought overall, and for that team, I thought we played really well. Um, mm. I thought we matched them. Um, people already go and watch Quest, you know, on highlights. Um, they portrayed it as full and more all over us, which yeah. cheers me off because I don't know if they're right or I'm wrong, like, but I thought we matched them. Um, yeah. and yeah, we. I mean, at the beginning of the game, yeah, I would have took a 1-1. One, one, but coming out at Grand, it felt like a loss because we should have won that game. Mm. Mm. I still a uh, preview as well. I, I got Chris Chen on from Fulham. I did a, an interview with her, like, and she said, what, what score? What, you know, prediction. And, and I said 2-2. Two, two, and a few people, like, laughing. And like, I said, I know there's going to be goals in it, but I just had a feeling that we're gonna, it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, um, and even when I went at Mount yesterday, I was walking back and uh, having a few pints, and even some people were approaching me and said, What do you think the score is going to be? I'm thinking 2 2. When I'm saying, Oh, is that your head or your heart? I'm thinking, I, I just got a feeling that we're going to be up for it because it's a yeah. we all seem to be up for teams like that, don't we? You know, QPR and West Brom, we yeah. all seem to play. Um, and it's like what I agree with you as well, there and is that when you look at highlights and stuff like that, it makes out with all fun, but. We we matched him. We matched him, and Elik had, had Mitrovic in his back pocket for me. Yeah, it, we uh, we kept him uh, quite as much as we could. Um, yeah, I, I thought we did really well. I was proud of him till uh, <laughs> mm. till we gave that mistake away. What led to their goal? I mean, yeah. fair play to it, lad. He did take it well. It was a cracking oh, finish. Yeah. But yeah. Shouldn't have been in that position at first place. No. And it's second game as well. Obviously, uh, a substitution error for not clearing the ball against Stoke. And, you know, two substitution errors, really. Palmer and yeah. Benson getting both mixed up in midfield. And, you know, it's costed again. So, if you look at them two games via, that's four points, you know, uh, t- uh, lost, uh, two dropped on uh, Stoke game until yesterday. And what a difference yeah. that, that, that could have made because the results were going his way and all, weren't they? I was just going to say that it's um, what makes it even worse is uh, other results uh, went for us as well. Mm. Um, but you know we we we're still in there. Um, mm. Winnable game, I think, on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, just just frustrating. I mean, what on earth were Benson and Palmer doing there? It was, mm. uh, uh, it, it it will just it will like a comedy show, um, mm. like some art. Uh, Harry Enfield or something. Um, terrible, terrible. Uh, should have just, I mean, winning 1 0 against, just put your foot through it, just knock yeah. it up the field or something. Yeah. Um, but like I said to you off air, I think Benson is, is so, so weak. Mm. Um, it's like he's scared to go for the ball. Um, seems there for sleep uh, to mm. me. Um, yeah, and uh, like I said to you as well, um, I, I think if he's still in it season, regardless what league we're in, uh, he needs to go out on loan and uh, wake him up a bit, um, yeah. you know, um, send him to a Grimsby or somewhere like that and, yeah, wake him up a bit. I think that's what he needs, I think, because since he's, he, you know, we're a big, I not a fanfare, but we're a big expectation of him and uh, it's been highlighted before he's only been out on loan to Grimsby. Got, but yeah. Because he's come from uh, Burnley, it's like, oh, it should be de- something decent. I thought Fee involved as well. And for me, I know he's had his injury issues, he's been in an art or a late starting and all that. But for me, his, his art doesn't see him in it when you see him at yeah. warm up. Uh, I, I think it's just going through motions and you can't have that. And I feel sorry for them lads, them starting 11, me, who actually run their socks off into ground. Yeah. You yeah. know, against, uh, I mean, no, I mean, People will say it wants penalty this and penalty that, but at the end of the day, if you're playing a top 
you know, what were the 15 points in front at top at league for scoring goals for fun? The Ahmed yeah. Swansea 5 1 in midweek. And for a neutral, he'd be looking, be thinking, how are we down in bottom three there? Yeah. You know, like what you said, we, we matched him, uh, we, we, we get him a game. And yeah, Silva coming out with his excuses afterwards and blah, blah, blah. But I could flip it around me even and say, well, that penalty, what we didn't get against Stoke for Queen, eh, has that balance it sent up? But yeah. at the end of the day, that's down to the referee. That one, you know, that's referee gives him, yeah or no. And we had his, uh, against Stoke, referee will be here and everywhere, linesman. So inconsistent with referees again, I, I think, and ain't it? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree totally. Um, I just wish standard at refereeing and get better. I, I really do. Well, I yeah, know. I mean, Standard in EFL is uh, it, it's poor, isn't it? Um, mm. I, I was listening to you live uh, one about it with, um, oh, the, uh... with yeah uh, mm. with Craig and stuff, and I must admit I agree with you. Um, I think standard um, definitely needs to improve. Mm. Um, before all else, uh, I can see both sides of arguments, but yeah, I, I agree totally with you uh, on that one. Um, it, they are shocking. They really are shocking. And, uh, yeah, um, I must admit, um, when it first happened uh, at game, uh, Morris's penalty, because uh, mm. I'm sitting in East Stand on lower, near away fan, so mm. I was quite a distance away. Yeah, it did look like a penalty, but when I saw highlights, um, yeah, it was a bit dubious. But yeah. everybody gets them, um, you know, and... You know, at least we don't make excuses about uh, it. What length of grass or something? You know, so, yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit that, thing. That warmed like me it. up as well when I saw that. Um, mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, with Marco Silva coming out with length of grass uh, as an excuse. Well, next time you fetch a team down to it, well, you know, email us about an, a week before with length yeah. of grass what you want, and we'll cut it for you. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's bad in it. it. Yeah, it's it's bad in it. Uh, so again, we've got another own game coming up on Tuesday, uh, Andy. Bristol yeah. City, uh, I'm gonna say old cliche, so it's got to be a win. We've been saying that for like it seems to be for forever and more. Uh, it's got to be a win game. Uh, how do you see that going against Bristol City? Um, yeah, I, I know they've not done right well away ever, um, yeah. this season. I, I know they've won, um, Yesterday at Blackburn for first time in like five months or something. Yeah, um, something like that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they'll be on a on an eye regarding that. But yeah, to me, it's winnable. Um, mm. you, 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 I, I believe they they're not near relegation, but they're, they're quite low down, aren't they? Bristol? Yeah, yeah. They they just gone past. You know, they just dropped below midway kind of thing. So we're in that that area. Because they're yeah. a bit of upheaval and all, aren't we? So, yeah. I expected them being um, up and about near playoffs, me, mm. beginning of the season, uh, mm. Bristol. So, uh, you know, they'll be looking um, as this season for them as a bit of a failure. But uh, I think we, um, if we play like we did, like we did against Fulham yesterday, I think we'll be all right. But uh, every game's different now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's why we're down there. Um, inconsistent, so it's. But yeah, I, I, I think we'll. Uh, I think we'll be all right on Tuesday. Well, I'm hoping so. Yeah. <laughs> um, as regards lineup, would you would you tinker about or change out? To be fair, I don't think I would. I don't know no, what happened with Styles though. I don't know what happened with Styles because he wants even in squad worry. So yeah, whether it's a knock or something, I don't know. But apparently, apparently, he had one of these reactions again. What seems to be happening with our players after a game and. That's why he's at. So, but mm. no, I, I'd, I'd keep it as it was. Mm. Keep Wolf in uh, midfield. Um, needs to stop with early yellow cards. Um, yeah, but that, yeah, that's an experience. It's to be expected. But mm. no, I'd keep it. I'd keep it same. Keep yeah, it I same. think I would. To be fair, uh, but I don't think there's any knocks or injuries. I ain't seen out on reports out after the game. I can't see out saying that there's going to be any. Should be any different. Um, again, I thought Britain slightly improved a bit. Uh, still a fan of it wanting it first half, but second half, he seemed to be taking it on more rather than just getting shut up ball. Um, uh, yeah, I thought it looked a bit knackered as well um, in mm. last 20 odd minutes as, as well, Britain. Um, mm. I thought um, 
go on. Kitchen played all, all that as well. I thought he had a yeah. good game. Well, I thought I thought they all did. Um, yeah. Vita played well to me. My man at match. Um, but yeah, they all did apart from subs. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. And that, that's one of the thing about it is that when you're looking on, on subs bench, it's like you want someone to come on and actually shoot it up and make a, an impression or you know, yeah. sure it took kind of thing. And when you look who's going to possibly could be coming on, I don't know. But everybody seems to be asking for the same person all the time, on the mark, on the mark. Yeah. And yeah. for some reason, I don't know what's going off or why it's not happening, he's not getting brought on. If no, fetching it's... Palmer on, if fetching Benson on, I think the drive fetched on Moon on rather than on the mark. And I'm like, what I've seen on the mark, it's limited because he's only had a, probably an handful of appearances when he, when he has done it. It's, yeah, it's, it's look fair. It's looked a decent unit. He don't look a, a shy kid as if he's going to back out at all, does he? No, to what I've seen, he looks all right. Um, there were talks of him trying to be converted to a yeah. defender or something, though. So whether that's still happening, I don't know. It's crazy, um, isn't it? Crazy that. Crazy. It, yeah. Again, it's just trying to patch things up, in it. But uh, mm. yeah, I, I mean, before. Uh, Putting Benson on, um, if we do need to do that on Tuesday, I, if he's uh, fit enough, I'll put Alm uh, in midfield uh, mm-hmm. before Benson. Um, I know, well, I know a few people have like uh, messaged us and said, I'd rather have thought, brought Alm on. I'm thinking, Alm, ah, but and then when I've questioned it, they said, Well, think about it, at least a gear free kick away, favourite fear dog, just get the yeah. shot. And I'm thinking, yeah. Well, ah, true, yeah, <laughs> he's not just going to yeah. like stand there and like watch it go past him. Which yeah. I think, yeah, fair I, comment. Like, yeah, I, I honestly don't know what's happened to it, lad. Uh, to Benson, um, no. Like, like so it, it, when we fisted him, I thought he looked, um, you know, half decent. But now nah, he, he just do not just don't look bothered. No. Um, like interest is not there, is it? No, but as strong as a wet paper bag as well. Um, mm. No, there's there's, there's something not right there, and same mm. with Palmer. He's not same no. uh, player, but. You know, it, it's going back to is it because he's uh, not got my weight at side with I don't know. Um, yeah, I, don't I know, know Palmer's out of contract end of the season and all, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, I think he'll be off. I, I do yeah. think he'll be off. Yeah, I mean, you look at Matty Wolf, what I mean, he's uh, yeah, but uh, but early yellow cards, and I, I think that because he got quite possession early doors mm-hmm. and. Nobody shot a man on it, and then he chased yeah. back for it, which I gave him back again credit. He chased yeah. back for it, but from that, he actually got a yellow card from it. Yeah, I did. But I'm thinking, did. well, at least lads have made an effort to get back. He's lost balls, lost possession, but he's gone back. Now, when Palmer's done that before, it's like hands on head, hips yeah. on, uh, on hands on hips. I'm thinking, but Wolf's gone back. Bit naivety and get away silly free kick all for his own mistake. But he'll have to learn from that. He's still a young kid, he'll have to learn from that. You know, but it's dark arts, isn't it? What you've got to learn, you only get back through time. You do, yeah, that's right. Uh, Bristol City, then, um, bear in mind, they're not going to do any changes, or you know, I don't think there's a the, the cause of any changes, keep as it is. Uh, what would you set score would be, uh, on uh, City against City? Um... I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for three one. Do you know what? I thought you were going to four. Well, you said four. I'm like, are oh, you going to four? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bloody hell! I love a pint of what you were drinking. <laughs> um, I, I, I think it's going to be a win uh, yeah. at all, and I think we have been playing. I think we want to go out and make sure. Yeah, I'm going for a, a two one bounds a win. Uh, yeah. For that. I'm going to 2-1. I can, I can see a win for that game. don't yeah, know why, I, I, just, I just can Because I've been playing against, you know, your Stoke and your Fulhams. We've been Vera Vera Barts, and the frustrating mm. thing is, if it wouldn't have been for lapses in the last, you know, few minutes kind of thing, I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Well, if it's got back, we're a med. Uh, yeah. But it could have been a lot worse than all, going back on a uh, game yesterday. I mean... When you miss that up and goal from Eddie Cross, I'm like, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know how I missed that. It, it, oh. it, I think it was well added to me than to not ball. Oh, it came over, I'm like, oh, you joke. And it went pat. I'm like, but not long after, Wessel went. I'm like, right, that's it. <laughs> <Because> I just <laughs> I, mean, I just had visions of like a penalty or something daft or something. But yeah. 
if, if that had been one of our defenders who put ball at, oh. uh, sorry, that that'd have been a right clearance. Uh, God knows how he, God knows how he missed it, but Christ knows. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take we'll it. We'll take back. We'll take back. So yeah. we're both going for a, a bouncer win. Um, yeah. And Ben, it's big game, Ben. Weekend, isn't it? Sheffield United away. It'll kick off as well, I believe, F12. I know. Minutes, so. I'd have liked to have gone that, but to what they're charging for tickets, um, it's scandalous. Yeah. Um, two quid, isn't it? Yeah, I think they should mm. be disgusted at that, uh, Sheffield. Yeah. Um, well, Paul Derby. Why not just, you know, put a bit of common sense in it and try and get as many as he can in? Uh, yeah. I, I know for away supporters, but God, no, I'm not. Not paying that. Well, I can't afford it anyway. So there's a, there's a few people what said about it as well. You know what I mean? It's like when we've been all through COVID and we've done away with fans. What yeah. I'm saying, <clears throat> just for away fans, like have a cap on it kind of thing. Is a I know we're trying to Premier League, won't be like twenty pound away ticket kind of thing. And yeah. Just get fans in. You're going to sell more, you know, like say twenty quid across board or whatever than you are at thirty odd quid. Uh, yeah. You get more I, I mean, I'd have loved to talk uh, my daughter Maddie, but uh, we meet. With me and my daughter Maddie, uh, it's like fifty quid before you even get there. So mm. Mm. just that road as well. Uh, yeah, that's uh, thing, isn't it? No, they should be disgusted at that. Hopefully, if something can get looked in with EFL with regards to like make it more standardised, you know, tickets yeah. and that, and you know, don't we don't want to be driving fans away. We want to be encouraging fans to come. Exactly. Back, so exactly. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So thanks, Andy, for joining us. Uh, try and get a catch up um, sometime for a week. Yeah, uh, for some more previews and stuff coming up. Uh, we're working back, obviously, but we're around it. So, yeah, appreciate it, Andy, for joining me, no mate. Worries. Uh, Thank you. Hope people what's uh, been watching, please hit the like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. Leave your comments below as well. Uh, leave your score predictions. Um, first off, I thought Andy were going to say 4 0, but he, <laughs> he went, I think, in 4 and then he went 3 1. I'm saying 2 1. Do you think it's going to be a balance of win? Do you think it's going to be a draw? Do you think Bristol City come up and do us of it? I think it'll be a win, my but please leave your, your, your prediction below. Um, have a good weekend, rest in you. Come on, you Reds.